Get ready for a brand new special episode. And this is not an ordinary one. Our superheroes are the villains of the show now. Are you excited? Keep watching this video and we'll explore some new things about this episode. During the conference of TFOU, it was revealed that we have another special episode coming this year. It's called Miraculous Ladybug Paris, The Adventures of Shadybug and Claw Noir. Before we get into the trailer, we first need the synopsis. Miraculous bearers from another world appear in Paris. They're from a parallel universe where everything is reversed. The bearers of the Ladybug and the Cat Miraculous, Shadybug and Claw Noir, are the villains, and the butterfly bearer, Hesperia, is a superhero that Ladybug and Cat Noir will have to help. Hesperia will fend off the attacks of the evil doubles and prevent them from taking over the Butterfly Miraculous. Can our heroes also help Hesperia make Shadybug and Claude Noir better people? The concept of parallel universes opens up a world of possibilities. We could see characters interact with alternate versions of themselves, and events can play out in drastically different ways. It's a captivating idea that has captured the imagination of filmmakers and audiences alike. So now, Marinette and Adrian from the Parallel Universe are the villains of the show. We also get a full look of Shadybug and a partial look of Claude Noir. Shadybug has hair like Multi Mouse. She has pigtails in the upper part of her hair. Just like her good Ladybug version, she wears medium length red bands in her hair. Her arms, legs, and some parts of her bodysuit have inverted colors, and the rest goes the same way. We can say that this look is a combination of the Multi Mouse and the akumatized Ladybug that we saw in the finale episode of season two. We see her in some of the release sequences. She's holding markup, but with different colors. Not only that, but we see another thing that causes the explosion of Marinette's room. There is a reddish something here. Maybe an object or a person with black and red wings. Maybe this is a powered up version of Shadybug, or just something her lucky charm does. If that's true, whoever thought that Marinette would blow up her own room? That's not how I would redecorate. Sadly, we don't see much about Claude Noir. The only thing we have so far is his boot with the metallic accessories. He has some chains and some gaps too. I'm so excited to see his look. Do you guys have any theories about what he's gonna look like? I can assume he'll have some other chains in his suit and possibly some new metallic accessories as well. Another main important character of the trailer is Alia. In the parallel universe, her hair is parted on the left side and it doesn't end in orange, but rather red. She wears a dark red lip balm and has a choker on her neck. She also has her shirt and under it a basic white tee. And sadly, we don't see much more. But we see something that's much more interesting than her outfit. She's in the laboratory. If you look at the background, you can see a green screen, some technological devices, and a scientific atmosphere. In order to save Marinette, the Butterfly Miraculous Holder uses an Akuma and Akumatizes Alia, who transforms into a purple-themed superhero this time. Superhero Alia appears all of a sudden, and we see the shadow of Shadybug. Is this really the Akumatized version of Alia, or just a trap set by Shadybug in order to find Marinette? When the poster of this special came out, the only thing we had was Alia's outfit. When we look at it again, the thing that most catches my attention is the winged wheel. Since symbols have an important role in the superhero's powers, I wanted to search for some clues as to what it might be. It turns out that in heraldry, the symbol has been used to represent transport, speed, and progress. So we can hypothesize that Alia's power here is to carry out the transmissions between the two universes. Shadybug appearing after the portal is proof of that. Maybe because of this incident, maybe because of this incident, Alia in the parallel universe will plan to get akumatized and transform into a superhero in order to fight Shadybug and Claw Noir. We have our current Butterfly Miraculous holder. It's Gabriel. He wears a purple outfit and dark purple mask. 
and we know that Marinette's room gets blown up, so we know that Marinette is definitely in danger. Gabriel, as Hawkma, decides to protect Marinette by taking her to the Eiffel Tower. This is kinda complicated. Now we have Gabriel acting as the superhero, not the villain? Whoa, the man who was cold, harsh, and super strict this whole time has completely disappeared. Another interesting thing is, Marinette's identity gets revealed to the people from the parallel universe. So Shadybug and Claw Noir are definitely after Marinette. In order to sum up all of these and understand what's going on, I'm going to tell you everything we know. In the parallel universe, Gabriel is a good person. He's also still the owner of the Butterfly Miraculous. In her laboratory, Alia and Nino are assistants for him. Since this laboratory is very advanced, I highly believe that Markov is in there. Another theory goes like this. Max could be the friend of Shadybug. And with the help of Markov, they could find where Marinette lives, or at least how to access her. Another theory is, maybe Shadybug and Claw Noir snuck into Gabriel's lair with the help of Markov. We actually see this scene when they sneak in and Nino faces off with them. It looks like he might continue to sustain his role from Resistance. In Gabriel's lair, there could be the possibility of traveling to other parts of reality, or alternate universes. After finding out where Gabriel lives, Shadybug and Claw Noir travel to today's Paris with the help of Markov. In order to do that, Alia from our timeline becomes an instrument to make the transmission between the two dimensions possible. Of course, this is definitely shocking for Marinette, because a few minutes ago, the two were hugging each other, and now her friend turned into something that they both don't understand. This is when Shadybug encounters Marinette. However, this confrontation does not go very well. This is probably where Marinette's room gets blown up. On the other side, when Alia and Gabriel discover that Shadybug managed to travel to the other timeline, they use their powers. Gabriel transforms into Hawk Moth and akumatizes Alia in order to help himself pass to the other universe. And then, he saves Marinette! Guys, isn't this crazy? Shadybug and Claw Noir are facing their opposite versions. I am so looking forward to seeing their fighting scenes. The other thing I wonder is, how will Claw Noir encounter Adrian? We only have one scene that shows Adrian, and he looks really sad. He looks at his ring and we don't see anything else. Maybe he will enter Marinette's room and then will go on his own to find himself. What do you guys think? Okay guys, I am super excited for this special and I can't wait to discover all the fun secrets it has. Bad Marinette and Adrian, good Gabriel and his assistants, the fight between our superheroes and villains. That's all for this theory. This episode is planned to be aired in time for school in France, so we can guess that it'll be aired between October and November, but we'll see how it turns out. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For more types of videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and comment your ideas and suggestions down below. What alternate universe superhero do you want to see? I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!